coming here, it's like most of the towns are dead. But when you reach Hinigiran, it's like it's so alive. I don't know, maybe because I'm just from Hinigiran, that's why I feel that way. What do you think? morning we are preparing to head to Ken school it's September 1st there's not supposed to be a class today because it was declared a special holiday but for some reason they chose this date when parents are supposed to pick up the school cards I'm I don't know why they can't just give it to the kids like maybe they're thinking the kids might not show it to the parents I'm not sure but yeah, we sent Ken ahead. They have a mass in the school ground, and I guess after that, we're supposed to be meeting up. I just heard the text. Maybe it's Ken. So I'm wearing my the usual outfit. This is just very comfortable. I'm not so particular with the dress that I wear. It's just that I think the most important thing for me is, you know, comfort, and I'm so comfortable with this. I also wear it going to my doctor's appointment because it has easy access to my incision. So yeah. A typical day or morning here in Hinigana. We're in line for the ATM. The bank is closed, of course it's holiday. And I... We're not supposed to go to get school before... I believe there's still a mass going on and Ralph is already all set to go there. We're just gonna end up just waiting. Okay, so Ken updated us. He is really concerned about us going there early because apparently there's still an awarding of honors from grade 7 until 12. So to kill time, Ralph and I are heading to Mercury Drugstore first and probably uh, you have two kids here that want to be in your bar, right? where? These two right here. okay so we're in Hinigiran Public Plaza with these cute little kids here we were supposed to go to Pink Flamingo but didn't happen it's very sunny it's actually giving me more headache I have a headache right now so this is our plaza in 4k if it's raining this is really flooded in here like that looks like a pool from here you can see stick to one where we always dine to get a really good quality chicken What is that? That is a garbage dump in the middle of the <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean to be biased, but when you're riding Ceres from Bacolod, <coughs> it's like when we pass through the towns coming here, it's like most of the towns are dead. But when you reach Hinigiran, it's like it's so alive. I don't know, maybe because I'm just from Hinigiran, that's why I feel that way. What do you think? Know, probably because you've seen a lot of change just in the past. I mean, since I've been here, there's been a lot of change. There was nothing here but Mila's when now there's 7 Eleven, Mercury, <laughs> yeah. Prince, Gurgle. Just waiting here. I feel like my stomach is going down. I don't know why, or probably my incision. So our Mercury trip was done, we even grabbed some 
food for school. So we're on our way now to Minigara National High School. Uh, my stomach is really growling. Why is he not here? So this is Ken's classroom. I think this is where we used to stay during the enrollment, but maybe right next here. So some parents are already here. So they're, they're actually along the highway, so it should not be so hot in here, but I'm sure it's, it's very noisy when the bus passes by. I'm not sure what time exactly we're starting. I just hope that when the teacher gets here, that all he does is just distribute the card and then off we go. What time is it now? 9.53. And show them the sign that says what time the meeting is. <laughs> okay, the meeting says 9 to 10. It's now 9.53. We'll see exactly when it starts. We have already... I did say, I did say though that uh, the only reason I'm going to make the pass come here is I so anyway, we already got the plastic for the card, so I guess this is really starting. The teacher is already here, writing down all the agenda. Ralph has Ken's card now. It's really, I'm not so impressed with it, though. You're okay with it? Yeah, he's passing. Let's go I got it. We have it here. We just arrived. It is now 11-12. After, after getting this school card of Ken, we had a little bit of problem because not only him, but there's a few of them that did not get a grade in the subject Aral Pan. I guess that's Araling Panlipunan. And the teacher told the parents to accompany their kids to go to a particular miss. Uh, Miss Remetre to get the grades and ask why they don't have a grade in the card. So when we did, I found out that the teacher actually told the advisor not to put it in the card because she will ask for an extra work from them. I mean, come on. Miss Remetre already told the teacher on what really the issue is. The teacher could have just told us that. Like, why prolong the agony? Because I was like, okay, this particular subject, there's no grade here. And he just left us like waiting there. I really hate that. He knew the information at hand. He could have just given it to us straight out right there inside the classroom. Like, come on, guys. Seriously. So after that, we went to Pure Gold to purchase a few items that Ralph will need to fix my hair. I believe he's going to bleach my hair again. My dogs are very, very noisy right now. But apparently, because Pure Gold is still very new, they still don't have barcodes for other products. So we were like left there waiting again for a good 15 minutes, only to find out that we cannot purchase the aluminum foil that Ralph really needs. So after that, we went to Garrison and then we went to Prince again, where we got the aluminum foil. I'm so pissed. I'm really so pissed. Actually, I think it stems from the whole grade thing. And we were informed that 85 is the passing grade for, for
for Spexi or Spex something. I, they changed their name for some reason. But it is now 88. They have to be 88 to pass Spexi. Why was I not informed of that? So come on, teachers. You should let your kids know about that so that they could inform their parents. It's a matter of communication, I guess. So we are here at Pink Flamingo again because Ralph was in the mood to re-highlight my hair. He already started by putting, what was it? Extra virgin olive oil as a replacement to Biolage because Biolage is kind of expensive. But when it gets to the point where he's about to do the re-highlight, Seems like he doesn't know what to do anymore. Of course I know what to do, but you panicked, so... Because it's so... It's so hard for me because he does... I don't know. It's better that we, we just get it here. They have the tools here for all the rinsing. Mila. And she has a long... She doesn't have long hair anymore. Well, she still has long hair. At the back, I'm really good with Wow. Okay, okay. So she cut her very long hair. It's now shoulder level, I guess past shoulder, which is normal. She had a very long hair. I think it went straight to her butt. And it wasn't straight then. This is the developer. It's actually the same brand, right? So yeah, uh, the first oxidizer was garbage. Yeah, I have to say the name of it. Khaleesi. Some, uh, Khaleesi keratin or something. It's well, either way, green. it did. It hardly did anything. It didn't touch her black hair. It's a scab. So now, apparent now that they're using their own real oxidizer, it looks like she's going almost real, almost fully blonde again, almost. She's got. A, I think they're. What, this is more. Uh, uh, what ombre? Yeah. Just the outside going blonde. Okay. Well. Low back. <laughs> yeah, and Dia is really getting spoiled here. She has. She has two reflexologists practicing on her legs. Yeah, I know you're low battery. Well, there we go. So we are back to almost Queen of the Dragons. Almost. Almost. It's uh, actually, what was it called? There's... Yeah, black inside. It's actually ombre. It's got the little bit of the original inside. It's a little. They have to be really windy to see it. And there's the artist that fixed it. <laughs> 